And you might be thinking, well, can I just go back to one of the old blocks and just change it a little bit? You can't do that because it uses hashing technology, right? And so when I go ahead and create the next block, I have the hash of the previous block in the next block, right? So if I was to go back and change anything, the hash would change. And for those of you that don't know how hashing technology works, it's a one-way encryption, right? Where, for example, SHA-256, which is what a lot of cryptos use, SHA-256, the way that it works is it takes any any string that you might give it, like any 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 collection of characters, like you can take the entire complete works of William Shakespeare, and you can take the your your stupid password for Netflix. Either one of those two things. Now, if you put now if you you apply the SHA two fifty six algorithm to either one of those two, it's going to create a string of characters that's the exact same length, right? So by looking at the string, by looking at the SHA-256 hash, you can't tell how long, right, the data that you hashed was, right? Also, if you hash the same exact thing, right, you're always going to get the exact same hash, right? So you're always going to get the same exact hash. That's another key. It's not going to be, oh, sometimes I get this hash, sometimes I get a different hash. It's, it's not random. It's always going to be the same hash. And there's no way to look at the hash, right, that you have and then go back and, um, and figure out from the hash what was hashed. So um, you wouldn't be able to magically create the transactions from scratch to get the same hash, right? And even if you did, then you'd end up with the exact same, <laughs> the exact same hash. So then the blockchain would be preserved even if you did that. And then secondly, if you go back to old transactions and you tweak a little piece of it, right, then the hash is going to change. And so every single block after would be invalidated because each one would then hash that one, then hash that one, then hash that one, and hash that one. And so you'd end up actually being unable to, um, be unable to, to verify any new transactions because the moment that the hashes don't match up with the prevailing standard hashes, then we know somebody tampered with it at that exact location. Like the tamper happened here somewhere because that's not the right hash. And so people can't just go back and change transactions.